powerful is Cox Internet? Beginnings. playing a bit of a different game. Um, there we go.
Allah Allah Here, twenty by ten eighty. Title screen slaps. You made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Or so good my first day on the job. Don't have forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. Just sign my name here. Oh, well. <laughs> Since today is April Fool's, it's Jark <laughs> Jitters. Working on the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Jark, you should get <laughs> Jark, you did I just see you hitting yourself? No, oh, Mr. Carter, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh quite alright myself. I'm feeling a bit bittersweet. Just so you know, I don't- I've like never played one of these games before. I wanna make this as- I wanna choose all the dumbest options. Retire after 32 more couple years. Wow. Me and the Wallace Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you, my wife's very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia. It's Begonia. It's a nice place. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel's. <laughs> but, oh, I, I can't read apparently. See why his wife's excited. <laughs> Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working on working the dining car. Here's the mini for today. Get out of your inventory. I received. I still get the menu. Chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken, chicken chick. And chicken cordon blue. Blue, but I, I don't want to say that. So nervous, all we have on the train is a microwave. Ha 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 I'm sure a little quiz is in order. These do we serve in the dining car? I'm being glad you can read the menu, okay? A little, a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. Train can really handle anything you throw at it. What about a Taco Bell? We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. Here to your playroom for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for an event that's not a passenger train. Remember the fact from the interview, what's the event today? A murder mystery party, nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as a conductor. He's gonna get killed. Guys will be funneled, funneled here into the dining car, as a home base, so to speak. Oh, guests. I said guys. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood. I'll make it for how? Ah, this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Marge Express are opening. All aboard. Love this art. Ooh, I wonder who that is. 
string is incredible and what fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. You don't expect. You don't know where you are. I go out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take any. I won't take anything though. Calm down, my rouge. Then not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop. He goes a pen. Now who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Some people. A cast of characters I'm stuck with. <laughs> you know, hold yourself, Jarky. You. You're sweating through your uniform. I get one of those chili dogs. Gosh. And then I got Zara and Jules to get food. Ah, sorry about that. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Jerk, you won't you? <laughs> Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, go ahead. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? He yeah, why certainly. So thank you for choosing a fine train for your birthday festivities. He just can't certainly helped. <laughs> Doesn't love a good bargain. <laughs> and I'm wondering if you're trying to sound so exciting, it's right up my alley. See, I'm telling you, it's her. Who doesn't- who doesn't love a good thrill? See, I'm gonna love a good true crime podcast. <laughs> Try to get my mouth to, like, Maybe we should leave her to have fun. <laughs> Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? I can eat on a train. Happy birthday. It's a birthday key. It's practically tradition. What? I never heard of it. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Or will she? It's scenic. Get pleased. Thank you kindly, happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry, but I should like to help him. Eggman took over, I shouldn't be feeling the worst when my kids for you would swoop in eventually, and he did. Wait, what game is he talking about? And not for much other than my sincere gratitude. Is this the guy from Team Sonic Racing? Or am I dumb? Or is that Big the Cat? I don't know. I swear to think I'm glad you and your family are safe. I want you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have f f f f f f fun now. Will do. Will do. <laughs> Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sure. Oh. You may offer you any of the snacks we have on board. Thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle jelly. Sparkly jelly that I can melt any jade that can melt any jaded heart. <laughs> anyway, I brought my own sparkle jelly to me too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. Where's sparkle jelly? <laughs> <It's like laughs> if you need anything, just let us know. This train is normal. <laughs> Alright, Nibbles. No, don't do that. Howdy, guys. Let's get your ticket. I think that's a ticket. I don't like this guy. You don't. It was good, thank you. I don't want to argue either. <laughs> I'm going to go. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. Sorry about something. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sad. I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. So cold. Shark, you, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? 
ha, ha, no, no, I'm good. We see your ticket. Of course. Excellent, thank you, and hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Nice friends with me at ease. He seems like a nice guy. You consider me calming. He's looking right at me. I studied in Ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through, through the subconscious. But wow, Ninjutsu, that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to what? <laughs> this kind of question is that. I most certainly can. Looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hmm. For sure, jerk, you only get one of those if they ask. Actually, a uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Good try. The train and I work together a long time, you have to work harder than that to get what you want. Snacks look really tasty. Alright, can I get your ticket? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding walls, I'd love to show you my ticket. To be avoiding eye contact. Hmm. Something amiss, sir? I seem to have a misplaced my ticket. If you speak up again, I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. <laughs> you worry. Take a look around for you and see if it turns up. That'd be amazing. Thanks a million. Ticket. Is it like around here somewhere? You can check the baggage. Welcome to the Large Express. Happy birthday. Weather. Let's give it out the weather. Um, who was left? These two. Have your ticket, please. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Princess Hush and myself must always be punctual. Did you just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Uh, just casually. Just a separate dimension. Separate one. Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I prefer the birthday cake on this one more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. <laughs> That's it, well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Should I bow, I bow for a princess? What are you doing? Please go. Why can I not win with this girl? You can't. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? I only have four. Let me fetch it for you. Can I be anything else you hear? She's so polite. I already talked to as well. That doesn't sound right. And I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, uh, this is yours. Must have slipped out here. Here we go. <laughs> Should I be the best at judging character? Wasn't that everyone? It'll be on the house. Dang! I would, I, me personally, I would take that level of respect. Appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet. <laughs> it's good to buy the chili dog earlier. <laughs> Someone bring a cake for you? So much job. But hey, I'm awfully nervous. Why did you turn and look at the wall, Sonic? Hey, yo, Sonic! Thank you for that. Beautiful train, I feel completely at ease. Like reading things from strangers. 
What does this do? Oh, you can change the camera. Someone looking for their ticket earlier. Be sure to return this to your rightful owner. Be sure you want to use their ticket as a neck. Lost ticket. Anything yet? We just might have what you need. Sharky, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? There it is, our ticket. Thank you. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you kicked me out and I missed a murder mystery. Ho oh, ho, old jerky here would have their hands full of, will have their hands full of picking you out. Right, I wouldn't leave leave without a fight. Ha ha Wait, you made me made me post microwave expert and security card. <laughs> well, it's alright in mind, but thanks again for the assist. Of course, that's not if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. That's my cue to leave, and let's prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, oh, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? We'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Mirage Saloon? Well, you can count on me. To be honest, this is a group of seniors plenty capable on their own. M train? Assist Jarku if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You know, her or in the conductor in his train. <laughs> Excellent, I'll be off. I'll take my leave. Everyone, please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place here. Just trying to save the art and have assistance for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Jark you here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit the guide is sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you, you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards must be details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Blech. Now, on to the nitty gritty for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Bertha Girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are ship captain. You will be stationed in the conductor car. Actually, that's where the captain would go. Oh, gee, I thought that's where the detective would. Tails will be in the dining car because he is a detective. Un... Un... Indubit... Indubitably... In Indubitably? Indubitably? Is that how you say that? I have no idea. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is not. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SPO the poet, both found in the library. You asked me if we get to hang out together and do what? <laughs> Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow's a locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Okay. More than alright, you can hope and share everyone's following their walls. Oh, that reminds me. Mmm, a map. Nice. Even if the game as follows, there is a murder amongst you only. What's this? Oh. I'm just gonna turn down the music volume. Even if the game as follows, there is a murder amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant whenever they choose, but they must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to. To interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. Set time for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Okay. To your stations. Alright. 
Oh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Same, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. That's right, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. So this little Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. It does. She does, she does, she, yeah. Cool. But she's, okay. You think everyone is doing? They'll probably be inspecting their station, talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are? No, the lore cards are confidential. What is it? No one knows but the person who received them. My back was I was best friend, so Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Oh, that kind of sounds fun. Jones is stuck on microwave duty. Whoa. The train started moving. So fast, grab onto something. What's going on? I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Ah. No. That went on for a while. I sounded gruesome. Wait, Sonic. Wait, Sonic was in the driver's seat. What was he doing? Is he drunk? You're both awake. Yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Your head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems that we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. Getting their money's worth this experience, that's for sure. It's actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Jarku, could you get the door? Of course. Mm, seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. And we give that phone shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way. I'll uh, start looking for clues. Huh? I'll search over here. I know, Amy, she's hiding something. So she'd wake up before something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives are psychics, so I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Alright. Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? Found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dare figure ourselves out. Ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. <laughs> He jerk you look closely at this. Oh, the side of the shelf got smashed. That looks like a bite mark. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is that you heard. The wet floor sign would keep you more and safe. I slipped on some spooky to grow a short on what floor sign and all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. So I really as fast as they say. He was doing so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gen shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts. The microwave. It's always in the trash. Check here. Sadly, it's empty. On the bright side, it's the very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this game? Ah, it's, uh, I don't want to expect the toilet paper. Do you think Tails will be cooking of this for you? 
I'm gonna get out of here, sure. I normally never make micro meals, I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. Okay, Danny got a cast iron skillet. My brother's tails are not so funny. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. I had microwave lunches this week. Baseball bat, that's always a murder weapon. Alright. No, it's not baseball. I guess. We may attach this something. Maybe it's really dark mystery. I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Clues. Jack and Amy. Amy, I believe you're hiding something from us. What are you accusing? Do you accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? Is it going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. Out in the world, do you think I'm hiding? Amy knows what your four tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? There's no one here other than you and Tails. And are either of you murdered? Well, are you looking on the inside? <laughs> Amy and I are roles that can't be murderers. I know you were sitting idly while Jarky and I were knocked out. You tended to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me how to inside tended to escape or help me search for a way out. First, find the correct piece of evidence for me. Once that has been deduced, you must. Damage on shell is supposed to prove something. It, it fell over. Damage makes sense. There's no argument here. You're grasping. Okay, tell us what now. Now we follow this train of thought. <laughs> Sorry for chocolate TV. See, when I get something, I like to think. What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward. Ding rings, crushing bag, and he never loses. Like an endless runner game of like a lot of those on my phone, oh my gosh. I'm not sure whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What's up to you? Group not. Whoa, 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 Okay. Oh, dang it. This is cool. Dream gear. Show fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall on into. Me on a train on the train as well kept at the game which was here before we arrived. But well I there's something is responsible for hitting the shelf. The shelf a stick? Probably a stick you do this kind of damage. Oh, dang it. Stick with damage. Alright. Gotta get rings. Oh! Mm 
I keep Hope they have unlimited again. Oh, come on, that was two rings off. There we go. You're right, a stick can do the kind of damage to a shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, like, let's say, a hammer. Back! This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. And it hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. Came to your hammer snapped right off. Ah. Ah! So I said I tried to get a solid hammer, but I failed. There's a one big back and the handle ripped right off. It was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She looks genuinely sorry about it. I never tried your hammer to snap like that. So my backup's the little liar carry around I didn't think I needed. If you're protected, then that was a mechanic with see both pieces of the hammer. And I think you're will only be there and fixed. Well, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, you should do the trick. Yeah, right, stand back. Shelf completely shattered, it's incredible. We did it, we're free. Great job, baby, let's get out of here. Alright. Oh, dang. Wait, is that what it... Can't be. Gosh, that position. <laughs> Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! It's like the games we've gotten to find out who did this at once. Anyway, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. Oh, and I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? I uh, can't. Uh, what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic! Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hands on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of my murder mystery? Is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Jerky. What do I do? Do you have anything about it? Make sure our pain guests are well taken care of. So, regrettably, we're not chasing us, but we're remarkably rich. So, we'll take care of you, Chucky, my favorite employee. She didn't let me down this, um, this last ride. Ha <sighs> I need to catch up to Amy Tails to get to the bottom of this. See if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. Okay, keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Oh, and the game has begun. 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, because the Mirage Saloon. Whoa, look at this place. Okay, over here, I think Ava's already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. He's got the Kirby. Where is Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he, he's laughing? Don't think there's no doubt in his hands. I'm trying to follow his friend. Nothing would actually happen to him. I wish you like to make a mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Sonic likes to nap a lot in strange spots. Something she can shake with Max. Is really part of the murder machines or something deeper happening? Any more evidence there about what's going on? Mine's going to tag along with you. Oh, of course, sure. If you need a snack, you've got me. As I said, the best, the best detective aside, so I'm happy to have you. 
If you ever catch me looking alone, then it's not because, um, it's, where's my work card? This guy is at work at cases we ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Ye varmints. <laughs> what are ye all doing in my saloon? Trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles was trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy mosey through and told me all about it. Enough of that. I wonder how long he kept up he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what <laughs> so I'm stuck with it. We were wondering if you could tell us We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder and you didn't help us establish your alibi. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. It's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? You ran in an argument, Knuckles. You know, it seems we're on our own. Trophy, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues. Alright, let's do it. I have a bowl of assorted nuts, the classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. Maybe they're just unsalted. What's it in the trash? Let's check here. Tally, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory is something that's been. Why is it hanging in the trash? It's flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. They say one man's trash and another man's treasure. I think Tails is gonna be. Ooh! Clearly, won't be able to. Is that Sega Sonic? Super Monkey Ball? Let's go. I think it broke because when the train sped up, the damage looks more like it'd be caused from punches. Could have done that. And you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade. How's that blood? It's interesting. R3. Knuckles is really thirsty. Oh, it has lipstick on the rim. I thought Knuckles color at all, so I must have been here. You should log this. Blushing. I said, leave me alone. Okay, he's being kind. Just adjust your habits so we can see it better. I said, leave. Knuckles, dark you need. I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything, anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need to. You don't. We don't need to. We don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. I have evidence too. Cade machine? What makes you think I touched it? Oh, I really didn't grab those rings. First try. This is a tough one, Knuckles. You clearly touched the arcade machine because. Duh. Super Girl has, has a trailer pumping monkey ball action. So there's nothing wrong with the computer. You clearly touched the arcade machine because. What happens you have that the damages are punches? Staring at my hands sore. Not because you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? You need a punching bag and no more available to me. Just an urge punch, huh? Be preparing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How many of you I want it, Jerky, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Oh jeez. Mm. 
Oh. Scores. Quick look at the scores. Light up now. Let's just tell us nothing, obviously. Bread. Toast. Apple bread. Beagle candy. Oh, something massive. Look at David at the top of the list. It's a vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Pictures beginning to be pinned here. He a vector. He gets the highest score. Vector B. Your frustration destroyed the arcade cabinet. It's functioning here in frustration. You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector is a common name. Prove it to me. Prove to me he is here now. Gosh. Should not have jumped there. Yep. Jumping. Come on, dang it. Come on, I'm doing worse every time. Mm -hmm. I pressed the wrong button. I hope he doesn't like get mad at me over time if I keep failing miserably. This is gonna be the hardest part of the game right here. Tried to jump. Mm -hmm. I Mm -hmm. 
I'm. Jumping. I pressed the space bar. What proves Vector was here with Knuckles? No. That it was strange that there was more than one cup sitting next to you. But you were supposed to be participating in the murder race game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's I'm it's not like it's not I wasn't I don't 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 tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. I had to force my figure the game out and only did that we competed for the highest score. The best of me had to destroy the machine, no proof was win. I'm trying to fix the arcade counter before you two came in, unless I didn't want to be caught. It's my story and uh, I've already told you an abridged version of this evening. This finger was all her pride issues. <laughs> explains one of the used cups. What about the cup with a lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. You're not satisfied, will you two roll it? Understanding the scenario. Vector visited by games, Rouge couldn't find something and left. I'll go to Swoosh. It only makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions, actually. And everything you said, Nichols. I want to step back to something I noticed. My one name on the high score list doesn't make sense. I know what he's talking about. My name's a food theme, but this one here goes by Ultim. No one's arguing, but there's someone here that goes by the title, The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that. Nothing sneaks by you, does it? But Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. Now this game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and then fought to be Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You immediately had to compete, huh? You gave me this before you left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, so no one else had to lock the door. It's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key, too. Right. Questions. 
What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors and what was Rue searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Information I expected to hear, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library is in the next car open lock for you. If whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. Well, do sure. Come on, Sharky, let's head to the library. On it. Sharky, we're coming. Can we see down the next car? Hang in there. <laughs> My favorite Turtle supporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. I heard you last week, and I wanted to give you you our present, you presents. My presents. Oh, too sweet. Thank you. In the vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Oh, the detective fair needs help from the birthday girl. This tip is just too juicy to ignore, I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. Are you gonna leave the doors next to the next car locked? Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl sets the birthday key. Gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. Since a win! I'll solve his case before anyone else. Bye! It may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Getting there going, great. I'm sure if you'd forgotten, but there was a murder. I mean, besides that, besides murder, I am non-existent. <laughs> I suspect you're the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. I must be as a poet. Uh, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most arithmetic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me spring? La 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 dee 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 dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. And he was satisfied. For now, at least he's rhyming. Ch Jerky and I here are just. Jerky and I are here to establish both of your al al alibi. You want us to do what happened after. <sighs> you want us to do what happened after Amy had everyone leave in the, the dining car. I'm sure at some point we just explain this to Amy, actually. We were all sent off Rouge Blade Shadow and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me in SBO to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Victor got boys up to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. We came over to the library car seemingly looking for something. She went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her say, No way, at the brochure standing over there. She left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and knocked, and locked the door. She thought she was on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked into the casino car. And the library car locked the door behind him. Importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. This is not showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by their only monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Oh, hello. Hi, I, I, yep, good morning, you too. Next car, I guess he locked through the library car, the casino car again, unlocking the door behind him. 
I just woke up, so I'll be working. I'll get myself together for the day. That's nice. I'm trying to solve a murder. And then I've seen a car and walk into a line. In return to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Yeah, I've totally done this before. When Roger came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the sleep car. We were stuck in the library car. So when the train sped up, we were worried about the bookshelf falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until a ride after being questioned. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. And with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Gaspio couldn't have left the library cards. You keep with your cooperation, we're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you if you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. That sounds pretty nice, actually. And if you'd be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. I seem solid enough that we should search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that what we're saying is true. What they're saying is true. It confirmed Vector's reason for leaving this pa uh, his post and determined if Espio was actually in the library car reading. It's all to ask. We can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this tales. Absolutely. Shall we need to procure some dreamers slash explorers? We need to see this. <laughs> so child hanging there feeling the most ranks by safety because he's choosing the hard way. Thought the most rewarding. It's beautiful if this child can see to his friends will supply strength and I can too. There's nobody ever sat more stop with it. <laughs> there was something about how this meme was cancelled, I feel like. I don't know, maybe I'm just And what is is that the <laughs> that's the dude from Sonic Horses? That's hilarious. Oh. Ooh, brochures. If we're traveling this nation, they say like music parts, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh. Darky, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. Love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your library. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's slack tights. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, that's her. Shows my fondness for caves. He plays a lot of Metroidvanias in Minecraft. So many books that are under I tend to pick them all up. Sadly, I have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these are not out by the train speeding up. Marouge pulled a lot of these out to searching for something. Oh, re reckless behavior. I feel sorry for these four books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. I can feel sympathy for everything. It's always in the trash can. There's nothing around. Hey? He said there's nothing. No, no I'm alright. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be something in the next trash can. We're gonna be fine. You really think so? Oh, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins all outside a secret. I'm sure of it. Jerky, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was well, that supposed to be a compliment? And globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun, all but I love to visit some of the countries. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Make plenty of wonderful people and shops. Food can't be beat either. That's right for a vacation. The doctor is talking about Spagonia if you've ever been there. Oh, he's been there. I have actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. Keep that in mind, thanks. That's for them who are, haven't they? Yeah, they yeah, they have. What's this? Bright red book? Oh yeah, that reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. And the recipes. Who cares? I want to trust any book. He's read it. It's really safe here. Maybe we we'll just appreciate it all, but... You're not be wrong. You are not wrong. Let's see it, poem. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. <laughs> that sounds more like a rap than a poem. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my ocean. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Oh thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? 
Supposedly you walk your life your heart going to sleep hard. Yeah, that's not right. Let's go on its way out. It's unlocked. That's unlocked, Alan. That's that's unlocked. Hold up. Sure. If I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Just leave it a little to the sink. Probably for the best. You bring me any meat to chop? It may be butchered, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. <laughs> I should try to bring a knife on the train. No man of authenticity tales without a knife. I'm just a chef in ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. If you got a knife on you, definitely you the murder. Hmm. What if I hit the knife? No one's the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> She's a very comfy, so plush. She puts me right in the mood to read. She wanna take a nap. Sharky, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap I could stop and look at all these books. This song needs me no time to rest. Let's move on then. Oh, I mean, little peak wouldn't hurt. This kid finished out just chasing genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but look on these shelves in alphabetical order, but this one. You guys just have magic stress, the train you're actually on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. Of clues. Let's go interrogate. So if you don't believe us, hey? Sometimes I don't trust any of you, but, but it wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the, the, valid, the validity of your alibis. Sharky and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles? <coughs> and Vespio really was reading in the library card. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you, why did you leave the library card of his knuckles? Prepare to present evidence if you need it. That's easy, I got bored. What? I was entertaining you enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. I was instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car. And the saloon car was my favorite to go check it out. The soon as I learned the information we gathered was knuckles. Did not bring your attention to you, SBO. We just entered the library card, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but we're actually reading the entire time you're in the library card. Of course he was. But since he starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It's been a good read. What was the book? SBO doesn't leave that detective. Not the man man. It was embarrassing. It's a manual. What kind of things do you think I read? If you don't talk, I have a hunch on what that book may be. Jerky, could you help me out? Manual, you can't answer the reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh boy, I have to think. No, that's not good. 40? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Gosh. Oh, I was too away. Alright, that's fine. Just gotta get past this first section better. Nice. 
Alright, easy. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelf were all in alphabetical order. I'll accept this manual, meaning someone, at least at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail is normally like you, Espio. You know, I won't have you insulting my pal like Calm down, Vector. I didn't mean well, but I can't handle myself. Apologies, Espio. We're trying to pull up friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading in the Rogers Express Annual. Trains are cool. I can just ask you a few questions about the manual. Sure, if you don't mind. If you ask Espio some questions about the manual, just flip to a page and ask away. I see. Check was in Trick 62. It's like how many one drive errors I have. Okay, and what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spots? Robotic arms during events they can perform a variety of tasks and rear are small sort of cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. Perhaps I can never see the train company itself. So. I've been in train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. I don't blame them. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought to the train, ensuring passenger safety. If you'd like SBO ace that question, Jarku, hit him with another one. Which way should we choose? Page 89. Just rest cancellation policy. No refunds, you will be charged, and no show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. This person made this room must have been over 65. Yes, SBO can be for three. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? Intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. This train is on a pilot. And I have actually a little test. Oh, it's well you're able to retain this information so quickly. Pull its brain is often surprising. <laughs> You've clearly read the manual. Those answers were far too specific to be guests. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. I want to be supporting folks who read. I have to admit though, reading the entire time a murderer reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious even if true. No no I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all my alibi is hard to to subst to substantiate, substantiate, despite being the truth. We haven't like read to the manual, so I suppose we can- SP, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading. Yes, that's correct, problem. We don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Shark you. Let's get our fingers together. Alright. Stinking time. Do some thinking. We do need to think more these days. That was easy. Shadow walked through this the library card to get to the saloon car where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, it ended up being it wasn't it wasn't the it wasn't the high score long. Your crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow into the library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. I want to mention that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SBO was fully seated reading this book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and SBO didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. I mean, the sound of doors opening and locking one up would cause you to look up. Well, I, you see. 
If you didn't see Shadow returning from the swing guard lock all the doors, then at the moment were you really in the library car at all? How would SPL leave Shadow lock all the doors and no one saw SPL in the swing guard? It's a mystery, my dear Jarku, one that I would love for SPO to solve. Gotta believe me. The cool demeanor has vanished. I saw him all in my bed and no shadow of ass back to the library, Carl Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. I think I remember doing that. Must have been her friend's death, so I'll ask you again, SPO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library? I wasn't, I didn't. It seems right to me too, so it feels like he's not something about to see. That's just simply sitting reading, or they somehow vanish, then the shadow will turn to life. What should I do? Oh gosh. I'm kind of leaving on the side to SB. Hills. That's a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. Come on. Shadow walked down the straight path. There's a way SPO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. I have to point out where exactly the map you meet. You know, good for Shadow not to see him. So Shadow walks like. Where I was sitting reading my book. I can second this when I return to my swing car, SPO was in the same spot. Or should you see how an SPO could have seen another from this spot? It's a bookcase in the way. My shadow could have seen SPO, or vice versa. Makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return to SPO. There's no way you would have seen him. Whoops. I was just losing my cool back there. I feel like I was grass being despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you won't believe me now. Ally isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering a lot of questions. We did it, another pair of alibis validated. Woo! Too many locked doors to worry about. Oh my god, everything is streaming itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Maybe we must have kept it open when she passed through here earlier. And that's a cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBL. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my approach sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. I smell something pretty confident in our detective abilities. Come on, Jarky, let's see what's next. Sure, we don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer. 
Alright, let's get some continuous. Casino night. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'm done, but I don't need it. Roger, I have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. I might talk about a warm welcome, quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Be so loved, would that be my legacy? <laughs> Hells is right, folks have brought you up a lot here to explain. Tell him, Rouge, we need to help. Please? Alright, I've been hunting for treasure rumor to be stored here on the train. That's on part business tycoon, part parade or fun collectibles. I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. Alright, well. It's a Faberge Ch Ch Chow Egg. That does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me you accept Amy's birthday and find a way to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. Goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already. Everything's well taken care of. She roped me on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she served in the train cars for clues. I deduced that the, 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 the Faberge Chow Egg is here in this train car, locked in the safe. And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I'll change blueprints in a library card with a safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. Change blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh. Finder's -uh. keeper, sweetheart. What's the problem? We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator beneath a security card leads us right to the room holding the Faberge chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need no plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help steal the Faberge chow egg? Wait, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here, it sounds like a fine business venture. We're be influencing our decisions here. By that or breaking rules must be refreshing for our princess. Charky, do you have an opinion on this? Five finger discount. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. And only when my serious reputation is crumbling. Alright, alright, I'm in. I'll help. I suppose both Blade and Jarky are in. Let's get the Faberge Chow Egg. Now that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh, we'll find ourselves in too. I test the Faberge Egg Chow Room is behind a locked elevator door. Security guard has the access card, do we? Shack and perfect. We're all charming enough for that one. Actually, really nice and insane. Sharky, is everything good? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems like you don't know how to take a compliment. I need to see how my poker face needs work. <laughs> you distracting the security guard. Of course I'll distract him, they're just my feminine charms. <laughs> Not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Of course your flight might prove useful. Sure, you being a distraction makes sense. Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Can you distract the guard, please? If my, in my life, I've never let a single person down, I won't falter. Great. Or if it's so stoic, I have chills. When I trust her, moving on. Must a distraction. He won't talk about themselves, so easily distract the guard. Which I think we can move on then. Got distracted, Rouge. How will you get the access card? That's actually the access key, no problem. That child in uniform will notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Not to take anything else from him if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Jarky, what's your plan?
then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What's your heritage? <laughs> Any war crimes I should know about? What will I, um... You're just far too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. But you know what, maybe I should do something else. Not far too easy as well. I'll have to work on you. <laughs> he said we'll try something else. The car obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Absolutely vile. I can't think of nothing <laughs> worse. Despicable. I've never learned such a thing in my kingdom. The car will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, once the car distracted, we'll all head over to the elevator. Just like that, we'll make the elevator inside. We. That's proper victory. On the one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? The <laughs> end of those arms are claws, I'm not touching them. Is anyone from the side not? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I still gotta sing a little song when I do it. Let's step in here and battle this. Let's think of something. Okay, I guess I'll just have Tails disabled. I do this engage him, I just need some time. Oh, he's a sniper into our next question. Oh no, Tails. Oh no, Tails is taking well, and the arms are tightening their grip. Tails may just do it. Arlings, I'm happy to say this man is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. I will see what's up that elevator. This plant go off without a hitch. Could have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. It was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our, Faber our Fabergé Chaleg. Which safe? This one's gotta be safe with our treasure. Oh wow. It's here. I had it. Or you would see us get out of the Oh okay, you're gonna be so hasty. Sure you think that's all there is to this, eh? No further secrets whatsoever. Rude, spit it out, what are you hiding? My three of these eggs are made each hiding of their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg. Sure you, you sure can. Or do a little bear witnesses to a secret. Which I don't know if you should. All you need to do is. All you need to do is just it. It's a bomb. Uh oh. There's just no one left to tell the egg secret because each egg is, is a bomb. I think you're onto something, kid. Sure sounds like a bomb. I suppose that egg now. I suppose a bit after all the hard work. Rouge! Fine, fine. What do we do in order to flip this thing? Oh my gosh, I'm um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, you um, <laughs> there's too many options. It's in it. Wait, jerk it, drown something. Oh, that's right, so I'll get away with like that. This sounds really like interesting when we quiz about the train's manual. Or anything from the already attached. Looks like tech weapons are as well as being brought to the train, sure and fashion for safety. The robot arms that attack us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functioning on the train. If a bomb was brought to the train disguised as a fabric child egg arms would have detected it and it wouldn't have blocked it off. When the person knows coming kind of going up the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't have lost everything either. So if we're out of option, I think we should just wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay.
dang it open this hollow not a bomb at all that's probably we're on to something phew I mean, that was one way to get the heart racing. It's complete. I'm completely re relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Yeah, and look what's inside. And that's why so heavy, too. The final secret to the fabric is a chow egg, because a chow covered in gems. Right next to it, it's revolutionary. She's drawing over a sparkly ornament. It is stunning. So no one ever tells the Parvodaic secret. I wonder why on the white egg wasn't a bomb. Because they're on his stuff as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. So he's just kept the secret with them. Who's your a husband? We should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Oh. This will do the drink calls for fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. Not almost exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun. I prefer never to do it again. Al Rouge. Rouge? Just completely absorbed in my head. But what, what was it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. Appreciate your assistance. It is, as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound a creep, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart in the sense to make things better. I don't think there's any reason that she's more powerful than me. Well, let's get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me Shadow gave me an one of these he passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. We've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. Also, just some suspicion about Shadow. It's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. Or some luck. We'll see you stay safe. Thanks again. Go on, Sharky. Let's head out. Alright, let's go. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. I get a word in. I get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I. No reason is convincing enough. It's it's unconceivable what you did. Hey hey, what's going on? I see you made it here. T I see you made it here, Tails. I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. To be saving your microwave chili dogs, delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Seems like we already know, so ask her. <laughs> I'm saying a thing. You will want to have to, you all will have to tell me why. Now if you could leave me be. I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? He wants to meet with him. Well, Jarku, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, are you to find some answers, Tails? I this word again. Undubitably, undubitably, my dear Jarku. Hmm. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. For saying there's only two keys, I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Come over here. Nothing I can help you with either if you ask that you leave me be. You know, maybe we'll get out of here actually. Jarku, we certainly will not. It's a big chow band. Not spiritual. You reawakened. Shocker, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, there a reason you want me to do it? Or if something falls out, or worse, something leaps out. I think you should do it. Alright, watch. Ah, cough, cough. Ah. All this does, you open the door too fast. I bl it blew everywhere. <laughs> He's a hacker. Tails, you see this? 
pull string. Jar cube. No, it's gotta activate something. The, the back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come up see what it this leads. Wow. Library, there's a secret passage in the lounge of the library. I don't believe it. We back to the passage before they spot us. What? That could. We need to add that to our inventory. Alrighty then. How did you do finally caught up? Surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but it will all be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a bit a, a big light on this whole case. Okay, I'm not trying to I first to go scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him, then I'll be ready. Question from Moi? Germs can't be more to remember. I'm gonna train them to get any weapons brought on board. You had your hammer this whole time. Simple, the birthday girl gets away, but it gets what the birthday girl wants. I'm gonna go anywhere without my hammer. Ah, oh, birthday law, we should have known. No, the birthday rules make sense to me. Since when has this been our thing? Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. To the computer, you print something. I'm ready to use. I to use your interface and very clear. I'll let something. And here you go. It's exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. What was about this? In my interview. The lounge is a computer with internet access for casual browsing. The lovely seems convenient. It's a shame. You should be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer, you must really need to use it. Hmm. Just doing the same. As an employee, do you have any power? Do you don't have to keep do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Erotic arm, can you? Maybe listen to you, but I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Hmm. Tails. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Simply jerky, you've been disappointed every time. We get sagging and nothing in trash bin jerky. What's this? Ha ha ha! Someone printed it out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what this outside of your inventory? This isn't just trash. I'll let you have this. So I successfully checked the trash bin. I think we found enough clues. Interrogate Shadow, I know what really happened. I should come over here. Shadow, we have questions for you. You used to get out, I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Yeah, we've questioned everyone on this train, every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and, and I know why. Pray tell why I was unlocking all those doors. It's time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop I found by yours truly. We're ready. Point to the map of the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following, the shadow was locking all the doors for reason and reason and one reason alone to keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure did. He locked the he locked a conductor's car. He didn't lock all the others, so one lock locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture, you all get out and leave me be. 
Well, then Cersei McAvoy can, can back up with these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic in it again after they went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. It's logic, sound, oh, shadow trapping Sonic. I'll play along and follow the strength of logic, Amy. Shadow didn't lock the door to the conductor's car in prison in Sonic. Then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Jarky and I can explain it. the car change, however. Jarky, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gone to the dining car? Time to think. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 buddy. This ain't no place to rain fireballs. What are you doing? Dang it. I lost a lot of rings there. Dang it, I got even less. I keep getting less. I need to jump more, I think. <laughs> okay, that's fine, actually. What? How are you supposed to do that? That was it. That was really bad. Just that last second. Let's go. <laughs> Tricking I found a hidden passage in the water that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage. So someone could have used a passage to knock to the library car while it passed the distracted boys playing arcade and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Jarku. You must adjust my theory a bit. 
So Shadow and Mordred thought again the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. So Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the doors of the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, it's just a theory. A game theory. I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. So says I. I'm more certain than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. Shadow shop with hidden passion appeared in the library car. And how did SPM Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around in those two, around two people. Sharky, do you have any guesses? Well, SPM Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vestia was on the bookshelf at the table reading. Vestia reading in the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Sha what was that Shadow? I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever that game was on the slim car. I had some time looking for Espio, but he's not there. He was not in the library car. Look, I believe you. You're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? You must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? He has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have them. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Jarku and I can further validate Shadow's claims. Jarku, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? That's what's going on. Give me talk some more, eh? Oh, come on. 60? Let's go. Whew. So I have one reason there was exactly two keys in that key ring. Those were the two key Shadow meant to give SB and Vector. No way. Well, one of his own key couldn't one of those be for him. I have my own key on me. Interesting. Let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic bring him to the dining car. And what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Sure, your theory is strong. Tails must remain for the possibilities. Not really innocent and Tommy's murder. I think Shark Q and I know exactly why Shad was locking all the doors. First, Amy Amy, I just have one question for you. Is everyone today giving you a birthday present? Almost everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. There's some Shadow and Sonic are being hanging here, but that's okay. Just him being here is enough. Understand. Thank you, Amy. Jark you? Ah, uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow locked through every train car locked lock, 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 lock every train car lock, locking the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. So I mean Shall I not words to keep us away? Not us, Shark you. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I like that. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare you, Shark you show me evidence? Huh? Shadow's trying to keep me away. Prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. Proof do you have? Hey. 
65. Oh, that was not a bad place to go. Dang, that's a lot of wings on this. Dang it. Phew, let's go. First try. You went rooting through the trash. You went rooting through the trash. Oh, what was that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's on a bad ticket website. At Tails, don't. I guess that's just a Hot Honey's website. No way, I want them. Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favorite. There's a B in after their name. You see, isn't it cute? I've gotten. I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten any of their shows yet to see them, though. Jeez, your tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time. They'll sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow station then? Watch yourself, Fox. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon. But I see where he's heading. The pr print out of Hot Honey Band Sticky Bubs like this because... What shadows? This true? You trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise. It seems. So I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier, and I found it difficult to manage. I'm logging into the website. Did you print the home page by accident? I was like, yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe it's after I accuse you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. That cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Ah, oh, sorry, that's all a detective job is, I suppose. I had a train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. I worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and solved the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and I looked it up and I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't exactly or weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you were able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited for to buy tickets so I could unlock all the doors. For the safety of everyone, I handed out the keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work, Amy still managed to make it here somehow. Because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train, I've gone through every locked door with the keys. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. Should've guessed, it's a well known privilege. I never heard of this until now. Shadow, I, your dress are so sweet after I accused you to. Now this, that's why I take us later and make it up to you. You can come with me. Uh, I don't know if too late it's happening. I can't wait. The drill of a lifetime. Fine. Happy birthday. Expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> you wish your shadow doctor has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. This was not a tip at all. I need to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. You may am curious. Who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I'd like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling knowing who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. Come with you, I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. We'll see this through the end. We're more happy to have you both. Sharky, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. Yeah, the full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. It's in this tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right on then, let's do it. It's now or never. I visited the conductor's car. He was empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him since he got the drain in the hall. She saw it when they got the dining car. Something's clearly happened here. He's the murderer, isn't he? Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Well, not time to investigate. Let's crack on. 
Never looked so young in his uniform. It's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retired. Oh, that's actually a nice Easter egg. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope to have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish him a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Um, yes, I wish that too. And what's this? Someone playing darts? It's not throwing darts, it's a glow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. And that shouldn't be possible. Tells us right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. So make note of this. He killed him with the blow dart. This phone room in the train sped up? I'm not sure. Wait, does it say on the book? A cup of Joe in your hand, the wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function of the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just how to work the microwave. Recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Look how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy. It's all sounds of well. You have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's that time we named a suspect. What do you think, Jarky? Ready to solve this case? Let's do it. Hello, everyone. This is, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Jerk Why isn't Sonic showing up? Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Right, let's go get him. Uh oh. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been the light. Oh, the light? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having lost on myself the amusement of a chase. That's why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do as a, I'd be willing to do an event like this again. Since here, the train does escape rooms as well. That sounds fun. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He's not responding to us. Sonic. Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If, there, if there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector, and make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? This really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. Why are they all looking at me? I'm an exposed monster who did this. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. It's the fan base. The fan base is the murderer. I get it now. Same. They're going, it's, it's, it's going to say it's me. It's me. I'm going to figure out exactly what happened to us in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic. You know, I was here this whole time and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Jarky, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? It wasn't anyone. It wasn't no one. I'm gonna turn it. I just got to go over here and run. 
Let's try and block it now. Let's remove this. I think we just gotta go through all the options. Yes, that's right. SPO, were you the one? You were the one who murdered Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. If it's a battle of wits, you wish. I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. Are you accusing SPO? I already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating SPO's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. SPO was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Jarku, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question of Espio's alibi? So we left the library anytime because Tails and I found a hidden passage in the library car. To the lounge car. In the lounge, a hidden passage is behind the wardrobe. If it luckily we even found it. Not only Espio. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, that would put him in the car just before this one. There's no evidence that you see a secret passage. He answered all your questions about flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Jarky and I can explain that too, Jarky. I would ask you know everything the train man who was reading. He was a ninja. He's fluent in 70 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? He picked a random book on the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? This is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is possible. SBO is particularly skilled. No, that's be a long time. He wants he wants speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and SBO quickly memorized the book before entering a hidden passage. And SBO could have met Sonic in the doctor's car when he was murdered. Since we were only talking in what ifs, let me throw something out. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right, how would I be have known it was here? It was there. So that yourself, kid, were lucky to even find this passage. Shark, you and I might not have the evidence to answer your question. You know, some, someone who does, Shark, you. Here's evidence for SBO and you about the hidden passage. I can see something later. See something later. Can you see those blueprints? Blueprints, you stole blueprints? They were already used to scout for more treasures. Come up cold. You could have it. Blueprints are out of your inventory. Here, here's a blueprint of the entire train. I still could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever you I saw those paths? I, what makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had the pattern. Oh, Jarku, do you have an answer for him? I do. So you've seen those blueprints. Where did you find the blueprints? Oh, the library car. It was stuffed with, with, with the brochures. I checked the saloon car for a sense on the blueprints after leaving. In Despio, I tend to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. My theory has to be to look at the blueprints and then use the hidden passage to get Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant or who, however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Jarky and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm SPO caused Sonic, but Jarky and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is Rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Whoa! 
I came out of nowhere. Dang it, that's really a tough one. We're gonna have to start jumping those things like a lot. Oh, there we go. Splodar is down here in the conductor room. We best be use this to knock Sonic unconscious. Also, you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm sure he's more banged up than what a Blodar would do. According to Amy's rules, a Blodar counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. You let me present the first fatal flaw. I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car. Now Sonic found in the dining car. I locked all the doors and SBO didn't have a key. He would have had to get to the He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If the hidden passage back, he ended up back in the library. Jarky and I know another way it could have been done. We can a piece of evidence we need to take a closer look at. Oh, that was easy. I'll take a look. Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car. Then what route did it take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car and it goes to the, all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path from the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you could access it. There's a vent over there. The vent, of course, that must be the entr entrance to the path. Okay, allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here, and a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. Must be the path the arms take to move through the train. So you're saying. Somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid and now you realize you both couldn't fit up there. She was right, and this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. I wonder if I get Sonic in the vent. Oh my gosh. 
lot of thinking. Oh, nope, you know what, you know what, yeah, yeah, just do that, I wasn't ready. Dang it, dang it. God, that was all. Yeah, just die. Just, just die. Has to be like the last one, right? Like, oh my, there's like no life rings. Pressing jump.
gosh. Oh man, that's just not good. It's gonna be tough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did I just open three YouTube tabs? Pressing jump. Oh my gosh. I had like 60 the first time. Why am I not? Does that end? Does that end? Losing more and more rings. I keep thinking the wrong buttons jump. Something wrong with my space bar. Alright. Oh, alright. There we go. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, if I broke out here, one of those robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms using continuously event. The robot arm could have grabbed Sonic Press out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's a woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting fairy tales. I have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. It was like everything directly at SBO yet. I have found one necessary inconsistency. Kind of inconsistency. Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? The hot scoop, did you not? And the same as where that scoop came from. Tails, you're, you're right. Espiel lied to me. Espiel told me Shadow was, was locking doors to trap Sonic. He found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. The scoop came from you, Espiel? Hmm. No, of course not. You must have misheard me. Misheard you? I guess I said uh, Sonic's gonna get trapped with all of these locked doors. Just looking for my fellow passenger's safety, I didn't blame Shadow. 
I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be your type, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree, you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were staying in the room with a hidden passage? Yeah. Now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? We the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy to casting for the blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. That only could have been one person. It was you, Espio. You the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Huh? But hey guys, Sonic, you're okay. So you just, uh, just as we solved the lit mystery, SBL was the murderer. All right. SBL drunk me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though, really? It's non lethal poison. We'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I can use it now. No way, there's something important. Espio left me there. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Oh, are you feeling alright? You need to lie back down. No, you need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features of the train. But he was telling me I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power sword the conductor the conductor hadn't even seen it. We took a look, we realized the train's powered by a Flicky. Flicky, the tiny animal? Well, when first drift enough to use Flicky as a power source, Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it's more than a simple bad nick. He's the conductor's friend. The train is his co conductor. You're not serious. Yes, sir, it's not a hunting interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBL. SBL left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong, and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin that the robot arm sliced off the rail. Wow. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pinned me to that. I ha I, I keep... That's the conductor. The doctor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was sick quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation got so serious, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Crazy, it's just a make believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I'm just following the rules. See? What is that? It says, Use this blow dart on Sonic Station, the conductor car, and it's laced with non lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. What is this? What is this? Instructions? It's giving the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. A weapon shouldn't be allowed on the train. What well, is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Darku, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espiel the blow dart? Maybe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. S something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think. The train itself is plotting something. Once again, you keep saying most ridiculous nonsense. Should I convince the train has, it has, has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it has been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train. Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Saying all with her hammer. I see Amy, this train can have it. Well, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Well. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> I can get him down. 
Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You feel so too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Or you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to this egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will, free to, will be free to laugh and play games for I to open rails. Like we always planned. Very enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Should these buns turn the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. What? Whoa. No. Can't keep my footing. Ah. Bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ah, my head, tail, it's Amy. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? I need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Get in there. It seems a trade on. She goes back to the dining car. But where's everyone else? Great question, but for now, are you alright? Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Oh man, what's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got a chance. To, I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the sides couldn't be beat. I was excited. Well, we've been. I'm sure the train company will offer some kind of coupon for this. Yeah, I still don't know where my wallet is. Amy was right back onto here too. Swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. The yellow glow was chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. That's a bit better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky boot pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. I certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your own town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I encouraging so I cur sorry, cur courageous courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. Much more useful for future schemes. Let me guess another death egg, Doctor Predictable. The people fear giant spheres, it's science. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems like you managed to take the train quite upset. Make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a, what a passenger train is up to. See, the capability of a bag is only very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. For luxury training, I want to make sure things are without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to aboard. Strength, capability, and intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms that the train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks com compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Segment for reward? Most of my robots are for something simple like my autograph or whatever. The highly intelligent train may ask for something more interesting. What does I like reward programs? Are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Ciao. You know what's so sad to get under my skin? This is tough. The train is the motivation and being made by Eggman. It's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. 
transformers had something knocked out so it could do the rest of the This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it. So I was really hurt that Dr. Shin captured, which I had been more assertive earlier. I didn't fall here. I can tell the situation is getting you. Oh yeah, sorry. I get it. It's getting tough. It's easy to cushion the decisions that get, got you here. With negative thoughts, hey, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Okay, you're right. Moving forward and making this right. We gotta get the conductor's car where the train arrives at Agnon's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Tired I tells my asking herself, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What I do? Once we do head on, rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Oh, with that one big wind up, Sonic's been just asking to get the door open. Now that that road's clear, nothing can stop us. But if I'm your pants, I'll soon be getting another break after this. Ready to go? That's just right, let's go find our friends. We need Dr. Scar to end this mystery. Alright, progress. Oh boy. My friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, an accident on my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. I can grab enough rings, it should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's, let's go. It's a full screen now. Kind of hard to see, actually. Shoot. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Whoa, it just transitions to gameplay like that? Holy, how did I survive? Dang it. Yeah, I just restarted. That's what I thought. Nice and nice. came for us, of course, let's move. The train wants to take us take us prisoner in our reward. I risk it off the stupid train. Let's go. Oh, I went the wrong way. Shoot. Oh. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. Gotta move, you too ready? Always. Let's full deal.
Oh. Look, Amy tells him the conductor's car. Say no more. Let's go. Sonic, Sonic, you're here. And this is no way to treat you, the birthday girl. Alright, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. This doesn't work trapping these pests. Now we're hurry to me. I must properly dispel them and begin my plans for Eggman Land. And pro and and probably another death egg. Oh, to the future? I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that. Whatever. Sure, the Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown animals. That Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is everyone. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Okay.
Dang it. That was horrible. Um, what? Oh, okay, we're doing really good, I just realized. Oh my god. No, you could possibly understand. You promised to be together our whole lives. How do you just leave like it was nothing? What do you mean, the conductor? He's your daughter, you just have to accept that. I wish we'll keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you, that's messed up. Shut up, just shut up. Oh my gosh! Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? I wish, my wish, my wish! May the conductor never leave, let's be friends forever. The kind of friends who will never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Conductor, you promised me, you promised, let him speak, unhand him, 
try and stop this. I told you to be aged out forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Oh, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. You have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Lucky. There's like the lore card and my ex-friend left detective to join Dr. Eggman. This really is a bad thing. The stakes are great. There is every second, huh? Gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. The power of friendship. Come on. be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you? A hundred? Oh my! It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Dang. Just nuked the train. I had to kill everyone in it. Train slowing down. Great hit, Amy. It was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I 
I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. I think our work here is done. Let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails. I assure you'll never forget our time together. Getting off the train. We did it! Well, I'll say I've, I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Your next birthday, we'll just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Well, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I'm just gonna miss this group unhinged way of thinking. I'm here late, I've been waiting here for hours. You honestly never believe what happened. I won't even try. I'm just glad you're here, quick. Leave for Spagonia in the morning, you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation. I need this vacation something. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Because we're ready to begin retirement after this ordeal. Happy for them both. Oh, who's this? An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Since that flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, SPO. At least I could do, Sonic, everyone. I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now we're all safe. It was fun. It was a wild idea of fun. Boy, I, am I starving? I forgot we never ate. With all that clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too, I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, missing evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic, wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought. A birthday cake. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday, a ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. Admire, admire your tenacity. May you never lose your 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 your, your, ten, your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Persona, persona, Persona City. Persona City? Happy birthday, and that's not no, Persona City is a word. No, love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Aw, oh, you guys. You almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but I wouldn't trade you the adventure for anything. Never in a million years. You guys will never leave me, right? I wouldn't dream of it. Let's have some cake. Yes, please. Day in, everyone. Yay. Hope it's chocolate. That train's never making it here, is it? Hey, look! <laughs> That's nice. Train's never making it here, is it? Or about prepare a bath. It's a happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry. Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it. What's my story when I met Sonic and his friends? Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment and back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running a train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Um...
Um, and then throw that I That's just been my life. Wow. Pretty good. She is you got up. Waiting for an end credit scene. Thank you for saying for letting us make this game. Happy April Fool's Day. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's actually hilarious.
Alright, uh, I guess we'll do a raid and, uh... Exit game here. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, do a raid. Then we will... See you guys next time. Well, actually, not yet. Alright, and uh, see you guys next time.